combat, sometimes you have to leave the pavement. Road surfaces may be on gravel, clay, or sand. A trained driver must know how to transition from one surface to the next. We will allow the warrior 15 seconds to memorize a target with a particular color pattern. He will have to hunt for these targets throughout the course. If he shoots the correct pattern, he is good to go. The wrong one is a major time penalty. At the end of each lap, the warrior must shoot down an MGM six-plate rack. If he misses a plate, he will add one minute to his time. It's Olympic biathlon meets road warrior, so hold on and let the gravel fly. Kind of looking forward to this one. I always like driving, grew up racing motocross, so hopefully some of that past experience will translate into being able to read the track well. I have a strategy, it's more of a technique. It's, it's a trained technique, so it's what you're technically supposed to do. I don't know if everybody knows it or not. I think some of my partners might not have or have had training or as much extensive training on remembering things like numbers for certain targets, things like that, to where they might slip up and shoot the wrong target. So that should hopefully be an advantage to me. Yeah, it's the final table. Nobody wants to get uh, eliminated before the final table. So um, yeah, it's important, but uh, I'm gonna knock it out, so. I started off a little sh a little shy on the on the throttle with the razor, but after I started getting going, you know, getting a feel of it and how it was gonna handle, and you know, pretty much seeing how the course was, the width and all that, I started getting in it. Uh, went through the slalom, slowed it down just a little bit from there. Definitely uh, railed it right on up to the table for the rifle portion. Drove around the uh, muddy course uh, quickly as I could, but didn't want to lose control, so I kind of steadied myself along the whole way. It took a minute to adjust to the ACOG scope. I couldn't even determine the color pattern with the, with the smoke, so I just engaged the steel. We'll see what happens. I hated that smoke. I got there, I, as soon as I got there, I did the target, saw which one was mine, and then from there, it was smoke that just covered it. Come on. Are we kidding here? I just had to sit there and wait and wait and wait and just get more and more pissed off throughout the entire thing. Well, there's no wind, so the smoke just sat there. So I sat there, took a break. Well, it'd be nice to see it. So hopefully, same thing will happen to my uh, other competitors on that one, because it definitely cost some time. As far as the color scheme goes, it's easy to remember when you write it down on your hand. So they didn't say you couldn't, right? I went smooth, you know, I, I didn't want to do anything stupid. I feel like I, I did what I wanted to do. So I pulled up to the plate rack, shot the first shot, uh, the gun jam. I did a media action slap rack pull, went ahead and knocked down the last five. I hit four targets on the pistol, so I missed two. Small mistakes in the pistol mean misses, so it should have taken an extra half a second. I read a pretty smooth run. I hopefully it's good enough to hang in there for top three. Yeah, you know, I wish we had like you know four laps running. Right? Anytime you're driving fast and shooting, you know, and off road and mud and you know, hey, that stuff's fun. I feel good, but still, it's definitely anybody's game at this one. All it takes is one mess up. Hopefully, it wasn't me as much as the whoever else that went before me. Warriors, the rally track was a muddy mess, and some of those targets were hard to find. Y'all did great, but you know the deal. I've got to eliminate the warrior with the lowest score. The warrior with the lowest score is... Phil. Sorry, brother, thought you had it. Clock Warriors. doesn't lie. Sorry, you're not the maximum warrior. The rest of you are safe until next event. Good luck. Didn't make it this round. It's unfortunate, but... Got some good guys here, and the uh, room for error is very minimal, and just uh, didn't cut it this time. The camaraderie and, and the talk between us is, is not in, uncommon. It's actually one of the things you miss. You know, you miss joking around and talking with good guys from different backgrounds and swapping stories and he hearing just different views on things. So it was it was a good experience all around, competing and 
you know, just talking offline. Freezing temperatures, frost on the ground, and full body armor. Let's go for a swim. The warrior begins locked and loaded. The first obstacle is an 80 meter swim with floating telephone poles that the warrior must swim under and climb over. Once the warrior catches his breath, he'll engage targets downrange. The next stop is a 120 meter mud bog that the warrior must navigate to get to the next shooting box. Once completed, the warrior must race through Ambush Alley and neutralize final targets. The warrior with the slowest time will be cut from the competition. 